Hi, it's Liz, and today we are going to do an upper body, lower body, um, and then core workout on the floor. So get ready for a great total body workout today. What you want to have is a medium weight and some heavy weights. Um, and even if you need to, you can always swap down to something even lighter than your medium. All right, let's start a little bit of a warm up here. We're gonna take our arms out to the side overhead and we're gonna go right to left. Good, so you're just stretching out those legs. Good, nice and easy. That feels pretty good, right? Hello, good morning or good afternoon, good evening. Wake that body up wherever you are in your day. Last two. Good. Now we're gonna take our knee across. Good. Right, left, right, left. Just get that arm moving with you. Good. Get those shoulders engaged. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna take the arm side to side like this with turned out hips. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's roll those shoulders back. Breathing in your nose, out your mouth. We're going to use that great breathing throughout the workout. Good. Take it forward. All right. So let's get ready. So we're gonna have three upper body exercises, followed by three lower body exercises, followed by three floor exercises. So if you have a resistance band, you don't need it now, you'll put it on when we get to that lower body work. I have this resistance band, you can have rubber resistance bands. Yeah, if you have to be creative at home, I've heard you can take pantyhose, believe it or not, and put them around, or an old sports bra. Okay, just be creative if you need to be. All right, I'm gonna start with my medium or heavy weight right now. We're gonna go into just regular old bicep curl. All right, so we're gonna do one minute each of those exercises. Grab your weights, get ready. All right, here we go. Palms facing front, elbows in. Keep your abdominals tight. Don't swing the weight. Beautiful. I'm gonna have a full extension here. Awesome. Good. Seeing from this side, you can tell, right, that I'm not swinging this weight, that there's careful placement of the weight. That means I'm using the right muscles. Good. Now I just want your right arm for five. Good. Four. It should be getting challenging. Two, one, switch. Five, four, yes, three. You got this, come on. Two, uh, one, end with just a few for both. Three, come on. Two, one more. Beautiful, great job. All right, we're gonna go into our overhead press. If you can use the same weights, just transition those weights right in front of your shoulder. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do both weights, okay? Good, then we're gonna isolate one side and then the other side. All right, here we go. Good, make sure you don't lock out those elbows. Good, again, soft knees, abdominals tight, tuck them in. Woo! Good, now take the right side up, five, four, good control, three, two, feels a little different, doesn't it? Good, switch to the other side, five, Four, three, two, one. Let's get a few more in both. 
five, four, three, woo, two, the bird is real, one. Good, lowering down that weight. The last we're gonna do here is a tricep kickback. This is where I'm gonna switch down to my medium weight. I just wanna be careful that I really use the tricep and isolate, right? Good. Don't wanna go too heavy. I wanna really tip over with that flat back. We're gonna start with our right arm. So here we go, shoulders down and back. Just kinda squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good, keep that elbow in place. Take it back to the head, come on. We're isolating here, just one side at a time. I want you to really focus on squeeze that tricep. Good. Keep that wrist in line with the rest of your arm. Get ready to switch in three, two, switch. Woo! Yeah, intense. Let's go, other side. Keep your abs tight. Nothing like a good tricep kickback, man. Woo! Love isolating a muscle. Keep that elbow in place. Yeah, nice. Good, take those weights down. Give it a roll. While you make it down, guys, pick up that resistance band. We're gonna do that lower body work. Notice we're really we're not doing a lot of compound movements for that upper and lower body. When we get down, we'll see, we'll change it up a bit. But right now we're just really focusing on some basic movements here. Good. Here we're gonna take a launch back, okay? With a back leg left, okay? So you're gonna tip forward and then kick that leg back and up. So from here, we can show you lunge back, kick up. Keep it there. Kick it up. Okay, nice and easy. Making sure to protect this knee. You can also use a chair in front of you or a wall. 30 seconds. Let's start. Right leg back. Woo! Good. Keep those abdominals tight. Hinge to the hips. Good, 10 seconds left on this side. You can feel his hamstring burning in the front. Woo! Here we go, switch to the other side. Okay, so now we take that left leg back. Let's go. Get your balance. So I pitch forward as I lift that leg back. Good, get that lunge, you guys, get that perfect lunge. Get that tip in and kick it back up. Five, four, almost there, three, two, one more, one. Good, stretch it out. Pretty good, pretty good. Now we're gonna go into a side leg lift. Okay, depending on your band, if you have one of these fabric bands, just keep it there above your quad. If you have one of the rubber ones, you can even move it down to your calf, okay? What you're gonna do, side leg lift. Okay, nice standing upright, abdominals tight and engage. 30 seconds right. Flex through that foot. Lift up through the abdominals, elongate, like you're making yourself nice and tall. Try not to do a lean over. This one you really want to stay upright. <laughs> Don't get pulled over. Come on. Inner outer thigh. Woo! Good. Switch. Nice and steady. This knee can be slightly bent, guys. Just so you know that support leg. Come on. Oh, yeah. He moved right into it. That was smooth. Arms can be wherever you feel comfortable. Here, here. Yes. Less than 10. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling great today. Good. Ooh. Here, let's 
let's stretch it out. Really get outside of that glute, right? Woo! Okay, we're gonna end that uh, lower body workout with some pulsing lunge, I mean pulsing squats, and then we're gonna do a squat knee up. So first we'll start sitting back into our glutes, sitting back into our heels, and pulsing. Good, only as low as you feel comfortable going. Here we go. Good, if it doesn't feel comfortable at hip width, you can always go wider, just know that. Yes. Every pulse, you're changing your body. Ooh. Okay, halfway point squat, right knee up. Squat, left knee up. Squat, right knee up. Squat, left knee up. Squat, right knee up. Come on. Look, I almost pause at the top. Good, then I take it back down. Good, hard on those quads. And last one. Good, shake it out. All right, we can take this off. We're gonna hit the floor. We don't need to have this on. Okay, here's the only time in this workout that we're doing some compound movement. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by doing one push up, shoulder tap, right, left, one plank jack, okay? So it's those three things. Push up, shoulder taps, plank jack. This can be done on your knees to modify, okay? You can do it just like that, and then come up, and if you don't wanna jump a plank jack, touch right, left. Just follow those three guys for the whole minute. All right, let's go. Let's see how many rounds we can get in of it. Here we go. Tap, tap, jack. Good. Good. We want to see really good form, guys. So his elbows coming in closer to the body, chest coming down first. Good. Okay, you can always do it with wider legs if you need to. Scissors, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Good, hug yourself. Woo! That was awesome. Okay, we're on our last compound movement. This one we're gonna take first, a power tuck. Okay, so here, we tuck. We're gonna do five power tucks. Okay, then we're gonna do five legs, knee in, and then straighten out, and then we're gonna do five pulses out to the side. All right, we got that one, right? Be like, sure, just follow along with me. Here we go. Five power tucks. You can also modify it by not coming off all the way. You could be here. Good, whatever feels good for your body, or all the way up. Good, then once we hit that five, guys, we stay here, we go five. Good, you can always be here, four, three, good, two, and one, then we take it out, five. Good, four, three, two, and one. Back to the five power tuck. Five, come on. Four. Three, I love this, come on. Two, last one, you stay up, remember. Good, here we go, five, four, three, two, one, pulse it out, five, four. You can always do this straight on your back if it bothers your lower back, just like this. Good, and one, and hug it in. <sighs> Good job, guys. Round one is over. Now you're in round two. You know what you're doing. We're gonna move right into it. Here we go. Take those weights. Heaviest weights you can to do your bicep curl. Second round is a charm. I'm gonna just take one leg up just to make it a little more challenging for balance. Let's go. Oh my gosh. As I say that, I'm like teetering over. Come on. Good, switch to the other leg. Don't swing those weights, keep those elbows in. Yeah, smile. Good, both legs on the ground. Let's go three to the right. Three left. Yeah. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Don't laugh, this is really crushing me. One more. <laughs> Good, whoa. Okay, let me stretch it out for a second. Good, we're gonna go to our overhead press. I'm gonna make this a little bit different this time. So we're gonna have our arms overhead pulling down. And then we're gonna keep both over, just do the right and then the left. So here we go. Don't have to rush this. Good, good form is more important than the number you're doing, guys, come on. This is gonna be the hard part. And if you really can't keep both arms off at the same time for this, you could always take it down. So for here, here I go. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Good, look at that. You're taking it all the way up. Taking it right down, guys, breathe. Good, then we take both. Raise it up. Good, pull. Two, and then one more. Good, last one. Awesome. Good, stretch it out. Good, take your medium weight now. Okay, here we go. You're gonna do that tricep kickback. This time we're gonna start with doing both and then isolate. So here we go. Taking both weights, guys. Tipped over, flat back. Good, take it right back to your hip. Good, take it right back. Long neck here, good. Breathe. Five, four, good, three, two, good. Now take only that right arm for 10, nine, eight, 
seven, we're gonna do it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, 10, nine, we're not gonna stop when we're done. Eight, seven, six, victory, come on. Five, four, last upper body, three, two, one. Yes! Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Grab your band. Good, I love this, right? Really just isolating the areas today that we're gonna work hard. Here we go. Start with that right leg back with that lunge. Good, lift, kick up. Hinge forward. Here we go, 30 seconds. <laughs> Don't pull over, come on. Remember, you can always use a chair or a wall. Woo! Love this. Good. Abdominals really engaged. This is also core work, for sure. Switch the other leg. Good. Down into that lunge. Lift it up. So the weight goes center and then it goes forward. Center and forward. However you want to work your hands, whatever works for you, maybe like you keep them off to the side. Good. This is the 
team that is getting stronger. That's right. <laughs> you can drop to your knees. Gotta love yourself, guys. Come on. This is self love here. Last one. And stretch your back. Good. We're gonna do our bicycle combo. Bicycle, cut across one side, cut across the other side, and with scissors. Here we go, six, five, five. That's all you gotta remember. Six. Good, stay on the right. Five, four, three, two, switch. Five, four, three, two. Let's go with the scissors. Up that chin in, a little bit of space, look between your thighs. Go to that bicycle. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Cut across. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Five, come on. Four, three. I love it. We're moving. Come on, scissors. Five, four, good, almost there. Three, two, and one. Perfect, guys. Stretch it out for a second. All right, last combo. Your power tuck, your knee leg extensions, and your pulses out. Remember, any of those can be done all the way on your back. You can put your hands under your tailbone, whatever you need to support your lower back. Here we go. Power tuck, five. Woo! Come on, five. Four. Three. We want to get two rounds at least in, guys. Good. One, take it here. Five, four, three. Come on, two, one, and five, four, three, two, and one. Back to the power tuck, come on. Five. Four. It's getting hard. Three. Two. Oh, one. Come on. Five. Four. Almost there. Three. Two. One. You won't believe it. Five. Four. I think we can do one more. Let's do it. Five. Four. Come on. We want to do it. Five, four, three, we got it. Two, one, five, four, three, two, and you're done. Yes! Go team! We did it. In the end, we beat our last time we did it. Three rounds of it. Stretch it, little butterfly stretch here. Good, straighten out your legs, take that right over your left, hug that in towards you with the opposite arm. Only take that spinal twist if your spine allows. So proud, guys. Such a good workout. Good, switch it to the other side. Did a lot of basic standing, guys, and then I did a lot of combo work just at the end of the core. Felt really good. Good, on your knees. Good, let's just take a little stretch over. Let's take it to the other side. Good, sit back into, in your heels. Stretch that chest and back forward. Good, slowly rise up. Good, we'll take our sweeps that I love to end with. job today and I can't wait to see you at the next workout. You are getting stronger.